Hello everypony, Dale over here warning this video will contain pictures from Google that is not mine and also warning it's going to contain uh, spoilers from the new MLP episode uh, Granny's Gone Wild. So if you haven't watched the episode I would recommend that you go and watch the episode before you see me ramble on and uh, do spoilers and stuff like that. <laughs> But yeah, uh, without further ado, 3, 2, 1, here we go. So this was actually kind of a okay episode. I actually had a lot of fun and uh, the grannies also had uh, some fun, yeah. Uh, grandma got it going on, that's for sure, in this one. Um, so yeah, I was actually pretty happy to see the um, grandma's uh, stuff again. Um, especially because I know like... I look up to my own, own uh, grandmoms, I actually have two, so yeah, I could see them like in this case um, and me being too overprotective of them, uh, although I wouldn't go at the same length as uh, Rainbow Dash does in this uh, situation. And if she was worried about them getting too excited, why didn't she do anything when she, uh, when one of the older ponies, I forgot who, were, who it was, but gave that coin to that young stallion? <laughs> That's sure to excite her, come on! <laughs> No, but yeah, I'm I'm still like a little flabbergasted or how to say that, a little puzzled about how uh, Rainbow Dash could, you know, fall for this. She knows how overprotected, uh, you know, AJ is with her family. And that's also why I'm saying like I would um, probably be like Applejack in this, uh, um, you know, situation. But not that much because like I also feel like they're, uh, you know, grandmas, they sadly don't have as much time as we others do, us young ones, so yeah, let them have their fun, uh, come on, like her ruining the horse uh, to, uh, to show, uh, toss or how it was, I'm sorry for saying that wrong, but ruining that for the one of the grannies, that actually broke my heart, because I was like, this is uh, something like if I saw my grandma, you know, trying to break a record, I wouldn't, you know, be uh, afraid of her getting too excited and, you know, <laughs> get a heart attack about winning a, a, you know, competition or how to say that. But yeah, I, I can see how the episode wanted to go uh, into the hijinks again and stuff like that. And, um,. Uh, I could understand them st stopping them with the food, maybe. But yeah, uh, the other things, I just don't see why. And also, like, when they tell Rainbow, like, they have been waiting for so long. I thought it was a year or something. But to be a part of, uh, you know, those show pony girls in that um, magic show, let them... Come on, Rainbow, you have seen... Um, you know, magic shows before. Remember Trixie and stuff like that. Like, you should be aware about how this is happening. But again, yeah, the Applejack voice in her mind is overtaking. And yeah, um, I can also see like she's a loyal friend and she's just trying to do her best to, you know, appease um, Applejack. But in this case, she should have uh, done more with the grannies and yeah just relaxes and stuff like that but the episode ends on a really good note with them taking the roller coaster together when rainbow dash finally admits like this was what she wanted i like sometimes you just need to tell what you want i actually think like that is the meaning of the episode and sometimes you have to set aside your own what you want for yourself and then you know do what others want because like i think like rainbow dash really owe uh, the grannies a trip where it's them that decides what to do and stuff like that and her not hindering them in doing any of this so yeah uh, i i didn't mind the cougar <laughs> jokes and all of that i actually thought it was pretty sweet and come on you have also seen like um 
them dance before I, or I don't know if Rainbow Dash was actually at that party, you know, with, um, but Applejack have seen them dance before, so she shouldn't be like, ooh, this is a big deal and something like, um, they should not be able to do. <sighs> yeah, I, I can see where, again, I can see where the episode wanted to go, but yeah, I'm also a little... I was a little disappointed about like it started out so great and I was laughing uh, I was watching it with second and I was having a great time every time you know like the uh, elderly pony was sitting on the younger male pony I was just like yeah <laughs> this is my grandma you know <laughs> just let her have have her fun come on um because like again yeah um we we don't see that no more and like i know like people don't want to think about you know elderly having intercourse or yeah your parents and stuff like that but how how do you think they got you you know and so on and <laughs> yeah i don't see anything bad in this uh, episode at all i really enjoyed you know, also the facial expressions and, you know, the frustration with Rainbow Dash in the start with them being so slow and her being, of course, so fast. Yeah, that was that was pretty crazy and also a little bit funny. Um, now, I saw a reactor that says, like, one of the elderly male ponies in the magic show was Trixie's father, but I don't think I believe him. <laughs> it could be funny if it was. Is the other one then Snips' uh, father or granddad or something? I actually think like those two were supposed to be the same age as Granny and the others, but like they probably colored their manes and stuff like that to look younger because like they were saying like, Oh, look, that's the, you know, the same um, uh, magicians like when we were younger. So, yeah, of course, they're going to be about the same age. So, yeah, uh, I really like the, you know, <laughs> reference to L'Oreal uh, commercials that <laughs> Granny does with her hair, you know, flipping out her hair <laughs> and stuff like that. That was so great. It made me laugh so much. Um, and I also like the scenery of the roller coaster and stuff like that, even though I don't like roller coasters in real life. And I don't know if I should show a picture of me and second here on a roller coaster, but maybe I will do, maybe I will not. Uh, I hope that you will like it. You can see how terrified I am <laughs> if I show it. So yeah, uh, but I actually... I have a good time on the roller coaster, so it's nice. It's I'm only afraid when it it goes down, right? So that's where I'm going to be so terrified. So I don't know what to do. But yeah, um, luckily it ended out on a good note, and nothing with uh, Rainbow Dash being becoming sick or being afraid on on the ride because like I I was at that point where I was just like okay give it a good ending where she enjoys the ride with uh, the grannies and yeah that was what it ended out on so that i'm really happy with um, because i could also see myself and my grandma doing something not not taking a roller coaster again but i actually um had one time where i went with my grandma up to town and she wanted to go uh, out and uh, have a drink with me and, you know, sit down and, um, yeah, it's, there were some shenanigans with her uh, hitting on a guy and stuff like that. But yeah, uh, nevertheless, I don't want to say anything. I, I just, I had a good time, I remember. So yeah, that that's actually all that I have to say about this episode. And sometimes we also need to appreciate our elderly a little bit more like um seeing more stuff that they're actually able to do and i really uh, do love the episode for focusing more on you know the young helping the elderly because like we really need that in 
our uh, situation in our world. So yeah, that's actually all that I have to say. Um, do remember that inspiration is right around the corner. Do remember to take care of yourself and your loved ones. And I love you second. Yeah, okay. Bye all. Mwah.